You are now aged 16 to 17 weeks pregnant. Your baby is now 15 inches long and weighs 120 grams. Your baby gets oxygen from your blood. Breathing he cannot, but he begins to practice the breathing movement. He does this by amniotic fluid in his lungs to suck and then reconnect to squeeze out. Your baby's skin is protected by a white, bit oily substance that smells sweet. It protects the thin and delicate baby skin and the amniotic fluid. Often you can still see something of this skin lubricating after birth. The baby is not washed immediately after birth, because the natural skin cream protects the skin also after birth. During pregnancy your body makes extra fluid too. In some women is that only 2 or 3 liters, in others it may be that many more are. The moisture drops by gravity down, making your fat ankles and feet and get. You can try driving through the moisture to what? 1. Celery, asparagus and fennel to eat, but eat too much of it. Try to avoid salt as much as possible. Especially in food and sauces is a lot of salt. Drinking well, thus you stimulate your kidneys to keep working and therefore moisture to drain. About further, as much as possible with your legs up and raise the foot of your bed something, for example by a pillow under the mattress. Pamper your feet and legs with a tasty cream is also possible. Massage your legs from bottom to top. And give your feet the space by slippers to wear. You do well to flat shoes with a solid, small heel to wear. Under the influence of pregnancy hormones are your joints namely smoother, especially to your pelvis weak for childbirth, but this makes all your joints more vulnerable and you run the risk of your ankle sprain faster. Your feet can grow during pregnancy, probably also soften the ligaments which, making your feet a bit sagging. Often do you like a larger shoe size after your pregnancy, a good reason to buy new shoes. You probably go around this week for the second time to the obstetrician. If your pregnancy is going well, you have a total of 13 controls up to childbirth. The number of checks and the control scheme varies by a midwife. It might look like this, until the 24th week you go once every 4 weeks to the obstetrician, up to and including the 30th week once every 3 weeks and until the 36th week once every 2 weeks. Starting from the 36th week you should come over every week. Always examine your midwife your stomach and they measure your blood pressure. All those data are maintained on a check card. If you qualify for an amniocentesis, which will probably take place this week. With this research, for example, the verification that the baby has Down syndrome, 